Hey fellas, Frankie Day here in YouTube. Okay guys, Saturday evening. Triple feature night tonight. Since I'm in a good mood, I'm enjoying myself on uh, my vacation I'm taking guys. Okay, this is video number three on my build of the USS Drum by Ravel in a massive scale of 172nd scale. Okay fellas, uh, she's assembly wise with the exception of rigging the railings. She is all finished, with the exception of the final paint job. All she needs to have her final colors on. I have the stan railing stanchions rigged up. And she is D-O-N-E. Done. And uh, right after this video, fellas, we're going to have builds of the past featuring my USS Arizona and 1192 scale. Uh, that'll be coming up next. That'll be a good cop and arrogant uh, next to my USS Arizona by Trumpeter. And right after that, I'll have another update on my uh, USS uh, Princeton. And we're going at that too. Okay, guys. Uh, on the USS drum, I got it all, all done assembly-wise. I got all stanchions on, direction finders on. I got her four-inch deck guns on there, and I got her... Uh, 20 millimeters and uh, 40 millimeter uh, uh, deck guns, which is located on top of the Fairwater or Conning Tower or Sail, no matter how wherever you pronounce it. Uh, proper words called Fairwater. Fairwater. And uh, not much to do in the cockpit, though. The cockpit's pretty well detailed itself. Uh, I sent away for some crew figures for this thing. Uh, I went uh, and got some uh, some crew figures. It's called the uh, the Gato Watch Crew by Chex Models or something like that. And I went and broke down and got that on the internet, so that should be arriving pretty soon. So I should have this as a final paint job and a final reveal for the Gator will be next week for certain. And uh, so I'm going to resume back on the USS Princeton and start working on. Steve, Jake Cutler's uh, C-47 Dakota Group Bill. I'll be uh, working on that too. Then I'll bounce back to the Alabama, fellas. I've got plenty of time for the Alabama stuff. So I'm, I'm just in Model Haven right now. I'm just really enjoying myself building these uh, new builds I got. So uh, enough chatter, enough talk, and enough uh, of this and that. And we'll swing the camera and take a look at the USS drum. Okay, fellas, we'll zoom in a little bit. Show you how much I got done on it so far. Okay, you can tell I got the, all the, uh, I'll zoom in a little more, fellas. A little, little more. Oh, wrong way, Frankie boy. There we be. Okay, guys, that's your 40 millimeter aft on top of the fair, fair water. You can see all the stanchions on there. And I got the 4 inch deck gun on there. And all the stanchions on there. And I got the 20 millimeter forward to the cockpit of the fair water. And uh, you can see the, the bow. And it's worth time, time for some good diving. Bring down the, dive, the, the bow planes and she's ready to dive. As she surfaces, she brings up the bow planes. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a look after again. So I've got the, the primer primers on. I've got six coats of primer on this thing already. All the perfections have been filled and checked and rechecked. You can see the uh, after dampets for, the low, for which are lowering your dip, uh, your uh, torpedoes and everything. And your instant staff, jack staff. And where am I going this thing? And you can see aft where the uh, Screw is that. I'm bringing this thing out a little bit too much there. There you go. And that's about as far as I got on her, fellas. As you can tell, she's on her way. Like I told you, fellas, uh, th this thing a, is, is a, it's a pretty fast build, the USS Gato. I mean, USS Drum. Not much, not much, uh, not much shaking on, on a pig boat, fellas. It just, uh, like I say, this kit here is just primarily mostly size. And uh, this ain't perfectly cemented on there. I got it, it's removable. That way I can be able to 
treat this as a separate assembly during his painting. And uh, right now, uh, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, fellas, next week when I start her, her final painting, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and. Um, <coughs> And paint it all black. And uh, once the black's all dry, I'll go ahead and mask off the water line and put some anti fouling red oxide on the bottom of the water line, and the rest will be black on top. Everything will be ghost light, USN gray. <coughs> It'll be all airbrushed and weathered. This thing's going to be weathered like my U boot up there. And uh, that's it, fellas. That's about as far as I got on her. She's about done. All I gotta do is that, like I say, just just to finish painting. No, uh, the decals. Yeah, I get the decals. Got to put on her. And uh, the final touch is going to be my crew members. So I hopefully they'll arrive one day next week before I show the final reveal on, on this kit. And. Uh, Ravel has actually re-released this thing, so I got I probably got the first batch of the re-release, reissued of the of the Gato. It's uh it retails $118, fellas. And I got it for eighty eighty five dollars. And uh so I they packed the gave it away to me. It's a very big, big kit, guys to say the least. It's a whopping fifty two inches long. And uh, it requires a lot of room, like I said earlier last video, fellas. The bigger these things, the bigger these things get, the more clumsier you'll get. So you got to have a, a good spot to put this out of harm's way. In other words, you'll knock it over and break it. Oh, uh, also too, fellas. Incidentally, we'll zoom in a little bit on the uh, fair water, going forward a little bit. Right here, these stances right here, these are very, very delicate, fellas. So anybody who's got this kit in their stash, or has even built this, you'll understand what old Frankie Day is saying. These are very, very delicate, and they got to be handled with extreme care, otherwise they'll bust. So to avoid the fragility of these things, I highly recommend is don't put these on here. What you can use is using the kit stanchions as, as um, as a template or a guide, you go ahead and take some nice fine wire and uh, and form it yourself. And go ahead and make your wire around there be a lot more stronger. That's why I should have done on this, but I went ahead and uh, put the kits on there, so I got to take them easy and with great care not to break these. So far, I've been very, very lucky. I haven't busted nothing on this thing. So, temporary out of the way, I've been putting it away, keeping it from getting broken. And you can see the abundance of detail this thing there is, fellas. A very highly detailed kit she is. And I think you fellas out there really enjoy this thing once you guys get this thing built and even have it in your stash. Okay guys, we'll see the camera around of yours truly and I'll finish up the video. Here I is, boys. Here I is. Okay guys, uh, that completes video number three. So video number four is going to be the final reveal. And that will be shown one day next week. Uh, what day it will be is uncertain. I don't know. But it's going to take some time painting this thing. It's going to take a lot of paint as well. This thing is a big, big, big kit. It's going to take lots and lots and lots of paint and then some. So it's going to be about probably about six, seven hours just to paint this thing. And uh, so when I get done with this thing, I'll just go ahead and put her on display. My wife wants to put her on the wall next to my big Titanic I have. And I uh, said, so, okay, Ruthie, uh, I'll go ahead and do that. So I went down to Home Depot today, I bought me a special shelf. She has little, uh, has these little uh, hangs on there, make it redecorating. Re it looks redecorative. It's up against the wall. And uh, that's where she's going to go when I get finished. Okay, guys, that'll be it. It's kind of a, like a fast video right here. It's like a heads up kind of a deal here. And and uh, so I got things I got to do. So I got the Princeton over there drying. And uh, the next video coming up after this is going to be the USS Arizona. This is going to be the Copinary build next to my Trumpeter kit. And uh, you'll probably see a lot of things that are a lot different from the Trumpeter kit. But it actually looks almost the same. Maybe even a little better. I don't know. But uh, it's all built from paper, wood, wire. 
and that's about it. And uh, I'll discuss how it's built. So that'll be up next. So stay tuned for that uh, that one coming up too, fellows. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And uh, that'll be it. Okay, guys, time for you to get out of here right now and prepare to bring the Arizona up here and get that video off, get this thing uploaded, and I can go ahead and make the video on that why it's up this why this is uploading and uh, get that done. After I'll bring up the uh, the Princeton to show you how much I got done on it. And after that, I'll just go ahead and start uh, we're doing some more work on Jake Cutler, Steve's uh, Dakota Group Build. Get my air fix kit going on here. Oh yeah, fellas, I forgot to mention. I was at the hobby shop yesterday when I bought that when I bought, the other day when I bought that Princeton. That was a Christmas present for my wife. My USS Princeton was. I think that kit cost about 150 bucks, but I got it. I got it for uh, 88 dollars. And uh, I went and got this by Airfix kit. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I know Frog got built this. This is an airplane. And uh, I think Chris and Alex did one of these on on their videos. It's the Airfix uh, 172nd scale De Havilland DH88 Comet. What a beautiful airplane she is. So the paint schedule on this ought to be pretty easy compared to any other one I do. All it is is it's all red. So a lot of fellas know too when you guys paint in red, uh, red on the aircraft like that, it's always best. The primate with your gray primer for imperfections, or gray primer with all imperfections have been checked and rechecked. You can't find any. The final primary you should have done white paint. White will bring out the brilliance of the red. Just a tip. And back here is just the paint schedule of the aircraft. This is probably to give you a color. That's what it looks like. This is a forerunner of the uh, De Havilland Mosquito, fellas. More or less like a racing plane. Experimental aircraft, more or less. It's a very beautiful airplane. And this kit is actually, it's an antique. Uh, but look now, I took a, a look at it inside of it, and it's got a bunch of... It's got a couple, it's got the old 1950 style pilots, which are automatically uh, just from head up that's molded on the fuselage. So I don't know what to do about that. And some models go ahead and gut out the fuselage and make your own, but I'll leave it like it is, fellas. Okay, guys, uh, that'd be it. So prepare and, uh, and stand by for the USS Arizona, and I shall return. Uh, thanks, fellas. God love you guys. Merry Christmas to each one of you all fellas out there. And make Mama happy. And please subscribe and happy modeling. And stay tuned for the Arizona and the USS Penston. Rick and Dave, be right back. Bye, boys.